Hey guys, Melanie Mack here. I am with Eric Krauss, Global Community Manager for Command & Conquer. How are you doing today? Uh, amazing, because it's Gamescom time. Yes! Gamescom time is always amazing. So, of course today is EU Day, and everybody is curious about the EU faction, brand new to the Command & Conquer Generals universe. What can you tell us about the EU faction? So, super excited to actually have the EU the first time in a Command & Conquer game ever, uh, and with our, most of our audience actually being in Europe, uh, it was kind of a fan service that we did, and you know, getting rid of the USA for now, you know, implementing the uh, EU faction, kind of also high tech faction with a lot of high end units that are very sp specific to uh, a purpose. Um, but overall, it will be probably the pick and uh, play faction. You just you know can you know exactly know how to use it. Uh, there's like no in depth micro, so it's kind of when you want to learn the game, that's a faction to pick. Okay, they look really cool. I'm really excited to try the EU faction. I've been playing mainly APA, so, but it's cool, it's cool. So, can you tell us a little bit about, I noticed on the E3 trailer, the generals kind of had like their own animated portraits and things like that, so are we going to see maybe like an animated portrait so we can get an idea of more of the generals' personalities in the actual game? Oh yeah, like one of, one of our main goals here uh, with this game uh, in general in general, generals. Wow, <laughs> that was a good one. Um, is to bring like the character of uh, all of them, you know, to the players. So we really want to animate them and give them a character. Uh, and at the end, you will be able to actually taunt your other general, your enemy. Uh, so we had like a lot of fun already in playtests. Uh, you know, taunting our friends. Uh, we had fun with that. That sounds fun. I'm excited about that. And also, any chance we might see some funny-looking skins? Uh, I would say yes. We had like uh, we already have some good ideas, like wedding dresses for certain generals, uh, which will look definitely amazing. We have some mock-ups, uh, but I don't want to spoil too much uh, because I think it's when, once they come out, it will be a nice surprise for everybody. Dude, that'd be pretty sweet, like beating somebody with your general wearing a wedding dress. Like <laughs> that would be rad. So, also um, competitive focus. Do you plan on seeing generals become like an esports title? What do you see for that, competitive wise? I mean, an RTS uh, to me, the RTS general itself is very competitive right out of the bat. Uh, so hopefully in the future, you know, we can you know stand up against our competitors and show them, hey, you know, an RTS game is not just fun, but also an eSport title without sacrificing the other half. Because there are competitors who are like very you know keen on eSport, but they kind of forget the fun part. So we're trying to you know marry them together to like a nice experience for all the users out there. Okay, that's really cool. And what about like a ranking system? Well, ranking system, I mean, everybody's so keen on competing with friends, telling like, hey, I'm in front of you, I'm much better than, you know, you are. So we definitely want to support that, and uh, because fa just fans just want to compete against each other, even if it's on a fun level. I like that, I like that. So what about for people who might not be that much into the competitive side of things, are there going to be some cool social features in the game? Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, now in the modern world of internet and, you know, the cloud, uh, we want to enable our fans and our players to really communicate with their friends in game, um, and that starts, you know, with just with chatting with friends. You know, e easily, uh, you know, invite them to a match, um, share their experiences, like even screenshots right out of the bat. So we have some a lot of cool features planned, but obviously we will need some time to implement it. Uh, and that's the beauty in a live service. We can really, you know, listen to our fans and see how they use the game, and then step by step implement new social features as we go. Well, that sounds awesome. Sounds like a game for everybody to be able to enjoy. I'm super excited and I'm anxious to play some more. So thank you so much, Eric, and thank you guys for watching.